Get ready, Vikings fans, because we have an important news to share. Today, we're going to talk about a delicate matter that needs to be addressed. You're familiar with Everson Griffin, a player who made history with the Minnesota Vikings being one of the most beloved and accessible figures during almost a decade wearing the purple. Griffin has always been a central figure on the field, but off the field, he has been facing tough battles. We're talking about serious charges involving DWI and drug possession. But what are the reasons and what's happening with him? Curious to find out all the details? Hit that subscribe to support this Vikings News Hub. Show your Vikings fan unity to reach 100 thumbs up on today's video. Let's dive in. Remember Everson Griffin, right? He was a key player on our defense for many years. A true warrior on the field. Unfortunately, today, we're here to talk about a complicated situation he is facing. Now, let's understand the full context. On the last Wednesday, May 29th, Everson Griffin was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence. This took place in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and he was taken to the Hennepin County Jail at 12.59 a.m. The charges include driving while intoxicated, reckless driving, and fifth-degree drug possession. The Minnesota State Patrol observed Griffin driving a Bentley Bentayga at a high speed on Interstate Highway 35W. A trooper managed to catch up with the vehicle and recorded Griffin driving at 132 km h in a 88 km h zone. He was pulled over, showed signs of being under the influence, registering 0.10 alcohol in the blood on a preliminary test. The legal limit in Minnesota is 0.08. Additionally, during the stop, Officers found a small vial containing what was later confirmed as cocaine in Griffin's pocket. Bail was set at $12,000, and as of last Thursday, May 30th, he was still in police custody. The first court hearing is scheduled for June 13th. This is not the first time Griffin has been involved in such problems. Last year, he was arrested on suspicion of driving while intoxicated, leading to multiple incidents until he was placed on probation in February of this year. One of these incidents occurred in July when he was pulled over for driving at 96 km h in a 64 km h zone and he failed a breathalyzer test with 0.9 alcohol in the blood. After pleading guilty to reckless driving, Griffin was placed on probation for a year and had to undergo a chemical assessment and participate in a victim impact panel. He was also banned from driving after his license was revoked and ordered not to commit any more alcohol or reckless driving related offenses. But Griffin's story goes beyond that. After earning four Pro Bowls in his first 10 years in the league, he took a step back from football due to a mental health crisis during the 2021 season with the Vikings. Griffin, who deals with bipolar disorder, openly shared about his condition and how it has impacted his life, especially after his mother's death. In a heartfelt post on Instagram, he said, It's true. I am bipolar. I will embrace this and will be a mental health advocate. I've been running from this for a long time. I'm not ashamed anymore. It all started when my mother died. I went to a dark place. I thought I was great for many years. I promise you this time I will do everything the experts say and my wife too. Now, I want to hear your opinion, fan. How do you view Everson Griffin's situation? Do you think he should have another chance to rehabilitate and perhaps contribute in some way to the NFL? Leave your comment below so that other Vikings fans can also debate this topic. Let's make this community grow. Hit that subscribe button for more exclusive news like this. Stay tuned. Skull Vikings. Let's go.